guys flying? We're uh, flying formation with our experts. Uh, some little FPV, FPV experts. Well. Dude, these things are awesome FPV. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> What'd you do, dude? Dude, something just let go. Oh, that's not good. It was, uh, no, it was, uh, probably my props from this. Ah, uh, yeah. We literally put this through a whole episode of stress testing where we were bashing it into everything. Because people always think small planes are going to break easy. And these things will take a beating. But I've already broke my props. We've kind of, like, taken other props and, and put them on that don't really fit. And it's still flying fantastic, but one prize fun this. These are like the tiny whoop fixed wings. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, I got to fly it out at right. All oh, right, sweet. Dude, you're out there. How's the signal? Yeah. It's pretty much perfect as long as Josh doesn't bring his too close to me. Are you recording your DVR? Yeah. Oh, tree. Oh gosh, <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> oh. Did you record the DVR? Yeah, I mean, I made it through a few times earlier, so you can nice. do that too. Let's see, that's good. No, I don't know, it feels pretty good. Well, why'd you fall out of the sky? Well, if you look here, literally, I went full throttle straight into a tree, and we haven't stopped flying it, so this is like this, and this is broken off. That's from you. That's, that's from not you. from me. That's from you, you did no, that from me. You're you me. ran into me. Let's see here. It's a happy plane. Watch this, I'll flip it in the aerobatic mode. Can't see it at all. Oh. Jeez, oh dude. God. I love this thing. Dude, are you still happy? Why aren't you, uh... I, I don't know, I, I, I'm just playing now. All right. <laughs> It's just hard to describe like the experience you get with this. Because <laughs> you to do really sketchy things. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to FPV and try to shoot some more gaps. All right, you still recording your DVR? Yep, it is flashing. Nice. All right, cool. You find that TV? Yeah. I love the fact that you actually have a wing with rudder. It's like a mini Kraken. And you can shoot holes so easy because you have that yaw, you know? Did you think we could take the flight controller out of one of these and put it in a Kraken? Oh no! Oh, now I gotta walk. I think, do you remember we had the Spear back when we were designing it? We put the Nace 32 on it. We yeah. put it in headlock hold and it was a pusher. And we could actually take it up on its nose and it looked like it was dancing through the air, but it was actually hovering. So I think we should try that with the Spear someday. I agree. Dude, I want to fly the Mamba in a bit too. Dude, yeah, you should grab the Mamba out. Oh yeah. Alright. I don't even see him. I want to chase He's him. He's down below, you passed him. <laughs> Do what? I'm gonna go around a circle behind him. He's going in the trees now. Alright. Oh, watch out for the trees. There we go, I see him. <laughs> Dude, I kinda of wanna hit him. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna see how close I can get. <laughs> nice. <Nice-ish. laughs> Looks so cool flying through the trees. Oh, uh, yeah. Have you tried this FPV yet? Uh, I tried their, they had a, a rotating FPV module that I tried at Horizon. Like, so we. It's in the it. same spot. Where are you trying well, to go? Okay. Because every time I go out there, like, <laughs> I know it can fit through it. I just keep on clipping the tree. Fit through the tree? You ran right into the tree. But yeah, at uh, Horizon, they had a, I don't know if it was a prototype or what, but they had a, 
uh, FPV module like that, but on yeah, a servo. Yeah. And when it transitions, it would go from upwards to That's frontwards. Sweet. So you could hover and like putz right. around. <laughs> like I was trying to FPV around the shop, but you can't see anything. Yeah, he's just, he's looking ceiling. straight up. A bunch of planes. <laughs> Josh got you. There you go. I wonder if Horizon will ever make a big one. Horizon, if you're watching, we're gonna hold you to it. We want a big expert. Extreme vert. Do you fly an acro at all, FPV? Uh, a little bit, but it, like right now I'm in acro, so I can do like rolls and stuff. I can try some inverted. But overall, I think just the stability mode is just more fun, to FPV. Yeah. You can just like it's like driving. Yeah, you know? it's awesome. It's so precise. Yeah, I think you're about to say it's like a car in the air. Yeah. But yeah, that's exactly what it is, FPV. Yeah. It's like, like a little yeah. FPV car. It's weird to have a VTOL literally be a guaranteed first plane or first quad. Yeah. Now, first quad inside. Yeah. There he goes for the gap. Yeah! <laughs> nice, dude. Four, four times the charm, right? <laughs> oh, there you go. All right, I think my battery's dying. Well, yeah, you definitely like to see I'm at zero throttle, it's barely going down. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I love this thing. Dude, those things are sick. And for 150 bucks, man, that's pretty awesome. I know, I'm grabbing that battery. Dude, grab the Mamba. You should fly the Mamba. So, so Andres is grabbing the Mamba, which if you haven't seen that video, you can check the link below. We're also doing a video on these experts. These experts are freaking awesome. Um, nice little VTOL. It's like, a, especially for like beginners or even advanced pilots, like it's like a quad and an airplane experience all in one, which is like crazy. And for 150 bucks, like that's, Insane. I think they're ready to fly one. What's the ready to fly? 200 bucks ready to fly and it comes with a hundred dollar radio, which is pretty Fantastical. There's the Mamba. It's a Mamba. All right. I didn't test CG or anything. I just stuck the battery in there. Did you have it all the way forward? Uh, no. It's like... Oh, that's good enough. Okay. You got a really big battery in there. A 22 force. You can fly anything. Bye bye, Mamba. Dang, dude. That thing's got some power. Ah, that's crazy. You're the one that TK should have been flying with. Isn't that amazing? How's it feel, Andrew? Dude, I'm liking this. It's nice and smooth. Well, I've never really flown a huge plane, so I wouldn't know, but. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I like this. What? What? It was a crankshaft. It only rotated once, so I'm gonna try to get that to rotate a couple more times. Oh, yeah, that's how I was Yeah. Oh, you almost had it. Yeah. Nice, dude. That was sick. Real
<laughs> Dude, this thing is awesome. <laughs> Dude, nice queen grab. Oh, thanks, That's man. Insane. Dude. Oh my golly. That thing is awesome. I've never seen it do that. How much did you say this was? 309. 309. 309. It's not bad at all. That's yeah, for how it flies. I've I've never seen a foamy biplane like that. It just you swear it's like being right. Like, So that's it. It's Anders' last flight. Yeah, fly as hard as you can challenge with a plane. I think that's a new thing. So, uh, yeah, this, you told him it's Anders' last day. Yeah. He's going to be missed. Things it's been aren't a good run, quick. but he'll, he'll be back because he's back. still in high school. And until he goes to college, you're going to be back like... How many more summers do we get? Every summer. Two more You're coming back Christmas times. break? Spring break? Uh, that was a pretty short, like two weeks, one week. So <laughs> he's got. He's, he'll be here. <laughs> what if he'll I'll be here. I'll we'll give a visitation rights to the mamba. Yeah, there you go. Mamba on skis. <laughs> what do we do with that? I can be his hand. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, Jeremy. Expert and Mamba. Links below if you want to find out more information on those two awesome planes. Well, the Expert's like not really a plane; it's like a quad air help. Hel I don't know what it is, but you can check the links below. And uh, I got to get back to work, so I will see you guys next time. <laughs>